Okay, so this is going to be a quick uh, visual breakdown of the biome node to help you kind of understand a little bit better what it's doing um, now that I also have a better grasp of, of how it works. Uh, what we have here is our initial influence, right, which is our, um, our main input. And our main input is not necessarily a height map. It is, it is all, all these things are obviously black and white gradients, but what this represents is if you broke this into three zones, right, zone one, zone two, and zone three, this represents our different biomes. This, our main height, which I've broken into those three individual zones, so I have a different height section for each one of the three zones here, and I've just shifted them off to the side so you can see where uh, no influence uh, affects that. And then I also have an influence map that I've brought in here, uh, which is just a gradient in the center, so we'll see how that, that works. So those are the three maps that I'm bringing into it right now, so you can see what's going on. If we take a look at it initially, what we'll see is coming from that map, we have zone one, zone two, and zone three. Uh, let's turn off deserts for a second. And within each one of those zones, the individual height maps give us another set of gradients. So what this is saying is that in this biome, we have snow at the top of the hills going down into grasses. In this biome, the top of the, the tallest height doesn't have snow, it has light rock, and these are the colors that fall into that range. And then in the last biome, this is what we have here. So again, our gradient is saying biome one, biome two, biome three. So whatever you're going to be making, if you wanted to use this range of values in a certain region that would be more like a leading towards say deserts and stuff like that, a desert region, these are the colors that you would, or the values rather that you want to have. If you want to ha have like a high alpine region, then you want to start working with the higher color gradients. So whatever maps that you create are black and white essentially, and you're going to be modifying them to make sure that they sit within one of these ranges. Then you can just add them all together, um, just sort of like um, blend them with masks or whatever you want. But that's the, essentially the way, the way that you want to think about your biomes existing is biome one, biome two, and biome three. Then within there, whatever heights that exist will, will be um, whatever it is. So anything that you have, say uh, a range or uh, other things that you've brought together, shapes, those will exist in that way. Then um, the last thing is our influence, and we're going to show you how that works. So influence is typically off by default, it's set to zero here. And what it does, as I bring it up, you'll see that it pushes that range, so it makes it happen much sooner. Basically adjusting um, the, the area. So as I take that up, Right, the influence is much stronger. If I were to um, pause for a sec, I just took it and I moved it upwards. You can see how it looks there. And if I bring it in, down into the lower region, you can see how that works. So that's how our different influencer <coughs> operates. Then we have things like deserts, which always exist in this lower region. They also have their own kind of uh, height map zone, but they always exist in this lower region of the initial gradient to the very bottom, the darkest values here. And then by contrast to that, the highest values up here, they also have their little zones so let's bring that back up over here. Get that to update. There we go. Um, you can see how it goes through dark values to light values in the water range as well. So essentially, we have our three biomes. And if we add deserts and water, those become individual biomes sitting within a very select region of this initial uh, sequence of maps. So once again, how do we put it together? Well, we have our different biomes based on our input. Then the different height variations. So um, the height 
um, biome relationship is your visualization and then influence is to increase um, or uh, adjust uh, how quickly or how slowly the the height influences those height based biome sections now in our lovely examples that is already put together uh, an example piece that over and for that of course our visualization node is this height information which gives us not just that because that's just pin for color right we're not using pin for color the visualization is is actually you know the initial um, height information going into each of the biomes then to control his biomes he has this map and then to control the influences he's got a slope so if we look at that um, the, the highlands and midlands and lowlands have all been adjusted to get the result that was desired based on this thing's actual scale right because this is another factor in controlling those regions so you could just go ahead and play with something like the y scale to bring that down but if you want to control an individual region you play with these guys because they control the uh, the breakdown of those those areas then we have our influence and as we take that up the brightest portion which I mentioned was the uh, sort of like the alpine region we see what's happening here we're getting results of things like snow and rock in those areas so hopefully this will give you a bit more of an idea of how you can use this tool set um, you can go ahead and manually paint things like masks which you can then blur um, or uh, play with other kinds of gradients you can use different kinds of um, gen mask generators which then you know combine with things like mask uh, and stuff like uh, let's say clamp right because clamp can say if I take clamp here I can say oh you you live within biome one the bottom biome or no you only live in the alpine range Right, so I can control that happens within that, that region and then through the use of things like masks and stuff like that I can make sure that they uh, always exist within that space so uh, go nuts get crazy play and uh, see you next time